Hi there, let's look at uh, this question on gamma difference and this question is actually from a past uh, PSLE paper Alright, so do take note, okay, this type of question can come out in the PSLE Alright, don't think that it will not come out Okay, let's go through this In a school hall, chairs were arranged in rows such that there were exactly 9 chairs in each row For the concert, Mr. Ong brought 6 more chairs into the school hall and rearranged all the chairs there are now exactly 7 chairs in each row and 12 more rows than before. How many chairs are there in the school hall for the concert? Alright, so let's look at the T over here. Okay, this young boy says that I think we need to draw models. Okay, so let's, let's try to draw the models to help us to identify the gap and the difference. Okay, so before, right, each, uh, each row has 9 chairs. Since we do not know the number of rows, okay, let's put a dot dot over here. Right, because we do not know exactly how many rows are there. And now Mr. Ong is going to buy, right, he's going to bring in uh, six more chairs. So let's, let's add a six behind over here. And now Mr. Ong is going to rearrange the chairs in the rows of seven. Right, so now each row got seven. Right, so obviously seven is shorter than nine. Okay, so that's why the model here is shorter. And over here is still dot dot, dot right, because we still do not know the number of rows over here. Okay, but however, the question says that there are now 12 more rows than before. Okay, so can we find the total chairs over here? We can, right? Simply by taking 12 times 7, right? Because there are 12 more rows than before and each row has, 12, has 7 chairs. So 12 times 7, you get 84 chairs. Alright, so this will be 84. And you're going to make sure that these two models are in line with each other. Right, because the total chairs did not change. Alright, so make sure that the models are in line. Okay, so now to find a difference, you need to take this minus this. Right, 84 minus 6, you get 78. Okay, there will be the difference right between uh, this model and this model. Okay, and now look at the model carefully. Right, for every unit, the difference is 2. Okay, let's call this a gap. Right, for every unit, the gap is 2. So how many units must you get in order to get a total difference of 78? Okay, to do that, you got to take the big difference, divide by the small difference. Okay, so 78 divided by 2, you get 39. In other words, there will be 39 rows of chair over here and 39 rows of chair over here. Okay, does it make sense? Alright, so we are applying the gap difference concept. We'll take the difference there by the gap, you get a number of rows of chairs. Okay, so now to find the number of chairs in the school hall for the concert, you can either take 39 times 9, then you plus 6, right? You get 357. Or you can do by this way, you can take 39 times 7, then plus 84. Okay, you will still get a same answer of 357.